Hi, welcome to Pragma Platform's tutorial video series. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your guide for our video blogs and video tutorials with Pragma. Pragma Engine is a back-end game engine that gives you the tools to build and scale games faster, simpler, and more reliably. These features include matchmaking, account services, metrics, item tracking, game loop management, and a whole lot more. To set up Pragma Engine, we're going to download setup scripts and clone down Pragma Engine, install MySQL database with Docker, build and run the actual Pragma Engine, set up Postman for API testing and log user in, and lastly, we'll prepare IntelliJ as our IDE for writing custom plugins and content. Before we get started, let's download the setup scripts that we need to clone down Pragma Engine. These setup scripts install important tools and softwares such as Git, IntelliJ, Postman, Docker, and other dependencies required to use our engine. If you're running Windows, you're going to want to head over to the shared Pragma-documentation folder and go to the Setup folder. Here, you'll see the location for Windows Setup Scripts, which you'll open to download the Setup Script zip file as it contains the setup.bat and setup.ps1 files needed to install our softwares. Once you've downloaded the two files, open your command prompt and cd to where you downloaded or extracted the zip file's contents. Then, run the setup.bat with the particular setting you'd like to download our important dependencies. However, for this tutorial, we're going to need to at least add the options to install the default, IntelliJ, tools, and infra packages. And once you're finished with the setup scripts, you can start to clone down Pragma Engine via GitHub. If you're running Mac, head over to your terminal and input the following line of code to install Xcode, which installs Git onto your Mac. Once that's done, clone down Pragma Engine via GitHub. Then, in your terminal, cd to pragma-engine, then platform, then dev env, and lastly to our setup folder. You'll want to run the following bash command to set up all of Pragma Engine's dependencies as well. For all other initial setup information you might need, such as if you're installing on Linux or would like this information in written form, head over to Pragma's website and go to our documentation site. Once you're there, Go to the Introduction tab and then click on the Initial Setup article. Now that we have our dependencies downloaded, let's quickly show the core of Pragma Engine. Navigate to the Platform folder via your terminal to access all of Pragma Engine's contents. Inside are the folders 1 Protos, where all the protobuf definitions for the core engine live, 2 Pragma, the core engine itself, and 4 demo, which contains all the Pragma authored reference plugins. This folder is a great place to look around in if you need help or inspiration on how to best use Pragma. To start installing MySQL, head over to devenv in the platform folder, which contains setup install scripts to get your machine ready to use Pragma. From the devenv folder, we're going to go to docker compose devenv then run the following command in the terminal to set up and compose MySQL. After this command is finished running, we can build and run Pragma Engine. To do so, go back to the platform folder and run a make build. Give this step a few minutes as it takes a while to download and install each of Pragma's folders. Pragma Engine is written in Kotlin, so running this make build will compile the engine into a JAR file that runs locally. This process will also run all the necessary tests to ensure that everything behaves the way we expect it to. Building Pragma Engine also generates a 5-ext folder, where you'll write all of your .proto and .json files for custom plugins, which we'll get into later. Once the engine is built successfully, we can run it by simply typing a make run command in the platform directory. Make run launches Pragma Engine with a config file located in the 5-ext folder, our current make run command gives us the bare minimum configuration required to run the engine. There's a lot more configuration we could do, but that's a topic for another video. Now, let's test that we can log players in by using Postman. To acquire our pre-existing Postman settings, we're going to click Import, 
then folder, then navigate to our dev env folder in platform, and then open Postman. We want to also import our local node one environment and our Pragma dev collection. Once our import has loaded, we just need to set up our environment in the top right corner, which should be localhost with the most recent push date. Next, we're going to navigate to the social group, then player, then account, and then authenticate or create v2. If we click on the body of the authenticate or create v2 request, we can see the calling requests code that will be sent to Pragma Engine. In this case, we are sending a provider ID of one, which means our unsafe provider. This is an out of the box provider that allows us to test the engine using a number of accounts named test01 to test20. You can add more, but we don't need to do that right now. We also support a number of third party providers as well, but again, let's just focus on setting up Pragma Engine. For our provider token, we are passing in an account ID and display name of test01. If this was Steam, these IDs and names would just be a provider token and the auth token returned by the Steam SDK. Finally, we provide the game shard ID that will be authenticated against. In this case, it will default to a pre-made one. By clicking send, we make this request against our locally running backend. We'll receive our Pragma game token and our Pragma social token, which will be used to authenticate all future requests you make to Pragma Engine in this current session. And now that we know our instance is running and working, let's set up our IDE for writing plugins. To write these plugins inside the Pragma engine, we're going to be using IntelliJ. To get the project open, navigate to the platform folder and open the pom.xml file as a project. It might take a while for IntelliJ to set up platform completely. Once everything's been loaded, you can see our full Pragma engine suite here. As I mentioned earlier, we have a new numbered folder, 5-ext. This was created when we built the engine, and it's where you'll write all your custom plugins and extensions. By keeping your work in this folder, it allows us to easily send updates your way by only making updates and changes to 1-protos, 2-pragma, and 4-demo. In other words, if you don't edit any files that aren't in 5-ext, there should be zero merge conflicts when Pragma makes engine updates. To finish setting up our IDE, click the Maven tab on the right hand side of the window, click the plus button, and add pom.xml to the project folder file from 5-ext. Once you've done that, you are ready to author content, write plugins, and really customize Pragma Engine to your game's needs. Thanks for watching our tutorial on how to set up Pragma Engine, and I'll see you in the next one.